Disconnect the power adapter. Press the power button. Tap the F1 key repeatedly to enter the setup menu. Select the config menu. Select the power menu option. Select the disable built-in battery menu option. Select yes in the confirmation box. The system will shut down and the battery is disabled. Insert a paper clip into the hole on the SIM card tray. Remove the tray from the slot. Loosen the five captured screws. Pry up the edge of the cover near the hinges to release the clips. Lift the cover from the system. Remove six screws from the built-in battery. Lift the battery from the system. Remove two screws from the M.2 solid state drive bracket. Lift the bracket off the drive. Carefully pull the drive from the slot. Disconnect the antenna cables from the wireless WAN card. Remove the screw. Carefully pull the card from its slot. Disconnect the fan cable from the system board. Loosen the four heatsink screws in numerical order. Carefully lift the thermal fan assembly from the system. Remove two screws from the audio board. Lift the audio board from the system. Remove the two screws from the USB board nearest the side of the system. Remove the two screws furthest from the side of the system. Lift the USB board from its slot. Disconnect the camera cable from the system board. Disconnect both wireless LAN antennas. Carefully disconnect the fragile power button fingerprint reader cable from the system board. Disconnect the pen charger cable from the system board. Remove the wireless WAN antennas from the guides on the system board. Disconnect the tweeter and speaker cables from the system board. Disconnect the keyboard cable from the system board. Disconnect the trackpad, P-sensor, and NFC cable connector from the system board. Disconnect the coin cell battery cable from the system board. Disconnect the LCD cable from the system board. Remove eight screws from the system board. Lift the system board from the chassis. The system board is very thin and fragile, so be careful not to flex the board while handling it. Insert the ports on the side of the system board with the CPU into the slots on the chassis. Lower the system board into place, being careful not to flex the board while handling it. Pull out any cables that got trapped underneath the board. Install 8 screws into the system board.
Connect the LCD cable to the system board. Connect the coin cell battery cable to the system board. Connect the trackpad P-Sensor and NFC cable connector to the system board. Connect the keyboard cable to the system board. Connect the speaker and tweeter cables to the system board. Insert the wireless WAN antennas into the guides on the system board. Connect the pen charger cable to the system board. Carefully connect the fragile power button fingerprint reader cable to the system board. Connect the black antenna cable to the auxiliary LAN terminal. Connect the gray antenna cable to the main LAN terminal. Connect the camera cable to the system board and insert the cable into the guide. Place the USB board into its slot on the system. Install the two screws furthest from the side of the system into the USB board. Install the two screws nearest the side of the system. Place the audio board into its slot on the system. Install two screws to secure the board in place. Place the thermal fan assembly into position using the screw holes for alignment. Tighten the four heatsink screws in numerical order. Connect the fan cable to the system board. Insert the wireless WAN card into its slot on the system board. Install the screw. Connect the blue antenna cable to terminal 3. Connect the gray and black antenna cable to terminal 2. Connect the gray and white antenna cable to terminal 1. Connect the orange antenna cable to terminal 0. Insert the M.2 solid state drive into the slot. Place the bracket onto the drive. Install two screws to secure the drive in place. Place the built-in battery into position using the screw holes for alignment. Press down where the battery connects to the system board. Install six screws. Place the cover onto the chassis, inserting the edge opposite the hinges first. Press down around the edges of the cover to lock the clips. Tighten the five captured screws to secure the cover in place. Insert the SIM card tray into its slot on the side of the system. 